Hello guys. Uh, in this video, I would like to explain that how you can access uh, our code for calculating climate extreme indices. Uh, before this, uh, I have done a video in which I explained that how you can calculate climate extreme indices uh, using R, R, R study, but unfortunately, I did not mention any source for R code. So in this video, I would like to mention, uh, you can access this R code, which I have used from a uh, repository. And uh, this mean uh, GitHub, you need to go to this and just click on this R copy and paste this, uh, you know, uh, in the Internet Explorer or the Google Chrome or something like this. And you will, you can see, you will open this and then you can Download this file. This is the R code which I have sourced in the previous video. The previous video, the link to the previous video is given in the description of this video. And also this link and this link, these two links are also given in the description of the video. So you can just click or you can copy and paste in the Internet Explorer or Google Chrome and then you can open and download the concerned file like this file here in our claim decks here. Okay, let's try this, that how we can open these. Maybe just I need to show you this, just need to copy this. Now you need to go to the internet and just paste it here because there is a website. Click. So this is the directory with the same name as the channel. And this is the R the file which you want, download climate extreme calculation. This is actually climate extreme indices calculation code dash r dot r because this is our file. And this is a real new file. So you can see what is there in the real new file. You can just click on this and you will see, okay. So I don't want to change. Okay, this was just for change. Actually, this is a real new file. This is about you know, this is mentioned in the readme file. The file climate extreme calculation code dash r contains r code for calculating climate extreme indices. You can run this code by using the command source and then brackets and then inverted commas and the name of the file. So you can source, which you have done in the previous video. So you can download this from here and you can r you can download other code from the other you know directory so this is some something yes this is the detail of the code this is too lengthy this okay you can download the other from the other source as well. You can download from here zip. So you will click download these two files and then you can unzip and you can have this file. You can have this, but this is the required file, so you can have this one. Just click on this. Okay. So these are the two files. You need this one only. And this one, if you want, you can keep this one. So this one. So this is the simple way that how you can access these two codes. So this is for my repository. This is you can you can have this file. And you can use this one as well. You can download from this as well. The same way as I did the previous one. Just copy this because this is a website. So so this is the same. I mean, this is Clemdex, R Clemdex. So you can you can download the R code, and then you can use as we've done in the previous video. The, pre the, the link to the previous video is mentioned in the description of this video. Okay. So this is all about that. How we can access R code because I mentioned this in the previous video. I used this code and I did all the things, but I did not mention 
the source bar this course. So this is all about the source code. Uh, OK, so this is enough for today and uh, we'll see you in the next video. And if you like the content, please subscribe the channel. See you in the next video. Ciao.